What is up, YouTube? That's right. Um, here with a, another video that's not Eagles related. <laughs> I thought I would I would give my channel viewers a, a, a break for that for just one vid at least. I will have another video, of course, for the season of the fan series uh, coming up um, over the weekend. Of course, with the festive four and a look ahead to the uh, to the game against Washington. But I thought I'd kind of switch gears a little bit, do something I haven't done in quite a while, and that's um, share some pickups here uh, for what I've gotten over the various how many months. So some of these probably go back like four months, maybe more. Some of them are kind of recent. Some of them have been picked up many a month ago. But, um, you know, um, those of you who know who've been with me here in this channel for many years. No, I'm a, Jer I'm a Jersey head. I collect a lot of jerseys. And one of my uh, things I want to do is I'm going to redo the 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 second floor. Um, as far as how I'm storing the jerseys, uh, a lot of the racks I have them on have been uh, starting to deteriorate, getting busted, and some have been busted. And uh, I'm in the process of getting new racks, and I want to kind of redo you know, how I store them all up there. Uh, after I do that, I'll have more freedom to get to the jerseys. <laughs> As some of them are kind of tucked away uh, on racks that are leaning against other racks. And it's the only way that it keeps them up. But um, once I'm able to complete the process, which should be, you know, an on, on, on ongoing process, I should say, it's probably something that's going to take, you know, a little bit of time. But as I do it, uh, once I get the di the various different sports, you know, put together, I want to, um, I, I kind of want to document um, in, in, in some way. I know I've been doing it on Instagram and I mean, you know, I, I, I'm not the most uh, <laughs> uh, quick to, to, to get stuff done at times and I'm still cataloging my collection on there. It's still an ongoing process. It's going to take some time still. I haven't even gotten to my hockey jerseys yet. I even got I I haven't even gotten to a lot of my Philadelphia jerseys, Philadelphia sports jerseys, which, yeah, it's something I I I, I should do because the good thing about Instagram is it is it is it's it's a great way you know to show whatever you want it is you want to show, but you can also catalog stuff on there. So like you can take pics and you basically have your whole reference of what you have. You know, other people do it. I'm trying to do it with jerseys, but it it is an ongoing process. Um, it's a very large collection. There's a lot to still take pictures of and put on there but um i thought another good way of doing it would be to kind of do it through youtube so one of the things i'm going to do as i'm redoing the upstairs is um i'm going to show the collection by sport so i'm thinking i'll start with baseball and then i'll move ahead once i get everything the way i want move ahead to basketball to football to hockey so you'll basically be able to see the entire just about, I'm not going to say the entire collection because there's stuff, <laughs> I might not, you know, get around the, you know, stuff like the, some of the, you know, the, the older, like the swingman jerseys I have and stuff like that. Mainly it's going to be focused on Mitchell and Ness Authentics, uh, some of the swingman line stuff I have, that's even some of the legacy for football, uh, not just Mitchell and Ness, but also some of the authentic, the vintage jerseys I have, Authentics. Uh, stuff like that, um, current authentics, um, just as a way to kind of show you, the viewer, you know, the collection and also kind of have a way to catalog it video wise. And it's going to be a process. It's going to be something I'm hoping to start within the next, in you know, certainly in 2020, early in 2020, probably January I'm looking at. Um, so, you know, that's something I'm going to do. I, I know there have been people that have, you know, contacted me and via notes on here on videos or if they you know during sales at Mitchell and Ness or whatever they see me out and about they're like when are you gonna get back to Jersey videos and yeah it, it, it's something like I said it, it, it is something that I still have I'm very passionate about um you know I, I do a lot of stuff with the different groups on Facebook and um you know all that kind of rec uh, rigmarole but with YouTube yeah I mean I, I you know I guess I have kind of been focusing more on the the Eagles vids and some video game stuff and you know whatnot instead of you know being a collector and it is something that I you know I would like to get back to um 
you know, not not that I'm tired of the season of the fan series or anything else, but it is my roots. It's why I started on YouTube, and I know now YouTube has all these different things where you have to, you know, you have to put in any, are these you know children friendly videos or not, and and, and I'm always gonna put it as no because there's so many different gray areas that I just don't want to even risk any violating any kind of rules or laws or anything. I'm just trying to play it safe. Um, but, um, my roots on YouTube was a Jersey head collecting collector. And, um, I actually, in the process of change, you know, adding that little thing to all my videos that it's not for kids, you know, I saw some of my oldest videos and it just amazes me where I came from to where I am now. Basically, well, also how, how, how good the quality is now <laughs> compared to that old camera I used to use. Um, and, uh, you know, it's great, but, uh, yeah, it, it is a, it is going to be a project. Um, and I'm going to kind of unveil the, the curtain there for you. Um, anyone who has any interest at all, or even if you don't, if you can see the video, um, of my collection of jerseys, mainly Mitchell and Essen Authentics. Um, some of the stuff I just feel, you know, it, it, it's there, it's part of the collection, but, you know, I, I mainly want to kind of focus on get documenting the Mitchell Ness jerseys, because that's my favorite brand, that's always going to be my favorite brand, uh, and the Authentics, the, some of the vintage Authentics I have for baseball, for hockey, for um, um, NBA, I have very little for NBA, but NBA, and um, some football too, so you're going to see the whole thing, you're going to see every jersey, I'm going to go through them, one by one, and some of them, like I said, it, it's a massive collection, so a lot of them might be stuff you never saw before. Uh, I got a lot of old vintage, you know, Mitchell and Ness, older run stuff. I got a lot of the newer run, current run stuff too, but, um, you know, it's a collection I'm real proud of, and it's something that I want to, you know, showcase better, you know, with these new racks and such. So I will be documenting it, and it's it's a series that I'll put here on YouTube. Um, starting probably in January. And like I said, you're going to see the Mighty Fan Collection. So if any, anyone's ever wondered what I have, you're going to see it, at least up to date, you know, because you know, as any collector, I'm always adding. It, it doesn't stop. You can't just turn this thing off. But that's something I just wanted to do as a little channel update. Um, the main purpose of this video, though, is the Lids pickups, and these are all the various hats that I've picked up over the past, like I said, various months. Um, and my way of buying hats is I try to find hats. Obviously, uh, the home teams here, the Philly teams that I love, I have tons of hats for. That's what I have most of. But the other hats that I try to get, you know, there, there, there's a method to the madness as it were. And it's all about the jerseys. It is all about the jerseys. It's trying to match the best hat I can get with the jersey. Uh, if it's an older jersey, try to get an older logo hat. Sometimes there's a, there's a patch on the jersey. There's a there's the patch logo on the hat. I try to match that up. I don't really do the sneakers as much because I probably wouldn't own this house if I did that. Because <laughs> the sneaker game the sneaker game is great. I have a lot of admiration for people who are in it. I have a few pair of sneakers. I don't have much, but if I tried to match all the sneakers to all the jerseys and hats. It wouldn't go well. I don't even know where I would store it all, to be honest. I would have to probably get one of those, like, storing facilities and just put all the sneakers in there uh, over the how many years that I would be doing it. So I'm really not that one of those that matches the sneaker to the jersey to the hat. But you better believe the jersey, the hat, has to go together. And that's a big bugaboo for me. Uh, and I, I will go to painstaking measures to get the right hat to go with the right jersey and sometimes the right hat to go with the right shirt. It's just, that's what I do. And I know there's other collectors like that, but for me, I try to make it like an art form. I really do. I try to find as perfect a hat as I can for the specific jersey. And there are jerseys out there that are really hard to find the hat for. And in some cases, it's like, even if it's a rare jersey... You can get the jersey, but then finding the hat for it is a whole nother adventure, you know. And, and there are tons of outlets, as we know. And I know I'm preaching to the to the choir when I talk of, you know, the other hat heads out there. I mean, obviously, guys who have the YouTube channels, um, you know, obviously Major League Hats, 
um, you know, Sean Stay Fitted, um, you know, Trends Unlimited, all these different guys, and there's so many out there to name them all. But, you know, I do watch a lot of your vids, and because I have a passion for it, more so the jersey more than anything else, that's always going to come first, but the hat to go with it has to be, it, just, it has to go, you know, they, they have to match. And, um, you know, as you collect and as you do this for a number of years, you, you, you do see there's so many different outlets, whether it's Fanatics, Fans Edge Lids, whether it's eBay, obviously, is the biggest. But there's other outlets, too. Poshmark is something that I found earlier this year, and it's been something that I've really um, enjoyed because the thing about Poshmark is it's much smaller than eBay. But it's similar in the fact that you can find a lot on there, and it's a lot of the hats that I've been able to find on there, the, the, some of the older hats, Mitchell and Ness, other ones that are just really hard to get, I've been able to knock off through through Poshmark. And I'm not giving away all my secrets. <laughs> but I, I would definitely recommend it. Um, it is, it's a great source, at least for me. I found some nice jerseys on there, too. Um, but the hats are good and, and in a lot of cases they're pretty cheap and as it is with ebay if you put stuff if you save some stuff like as a watch list type of deal or like them or heart them or whatever it's almost like when you're on facebook hearting things you can do that on there too uh the seller will you know from time to time they'll lower the price and when they lower the price you get the alert to it as long as you set your phone up for their alerts you also will get those uh, offers from the seller and you don't have to take it Sometimes if you don't, they'll offer you again <laughs> at a lower price. Um, it's almost like a little little cat and mouse game, but they will offer you. You can make offers. Um, there's all sorts of stuff that you could do, and it's easy to use. Um, it's a very uh, it's a very good source. Um, and obviously, other sites like Hat Club, Hatland, they just offer their own variety of hats. They're exclusive hats that. I mean, there's so many that and, and, and Hat Club comes out with stuff like every day. Every day. And now they have a program where if you're a member you get a percentage off and if you accumulate how many dollars you, you get even more percent off. It's it, it it's something that I think is new, but they did it before. I came into Hat Club a little late, you know, so I wasn't one of the OG members of it. So I kinda started buying from Hat Club I think last year. But, I mean, so many of their exclusive hats have been just, oh, my God, this goes with this jersey. This goes with that jersey. Ooh, you know, you get, yeah, you get that feeling like, oh, I can I can go with that one with that. And, you know, but, of course, the prices <laughs> for some of them are a little, uh, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd like to. But, yeah, I don't want to pay retail at this point. Um, but, like I said, now they're offering little discounts here and there. And, you know, they, they're doing sales all the time. Um, you know, you can catch a sale, um, particularly this time of year, you know, with the holidays and all. Uh, the other thing I like about Hat Club is they, um, like I said, those exclusives are so cool and they bring back the older logos and stuff. And sometimes they try to mimic hats of years ago. And I know Mitchell and Ness does this, but Hat Club will do it too. Like right now they're doing the script hats and those were from like way back when, you know, I remember them from when I was younger. I had a few of those, <laughs> back then so that's one of the things i like about hat club um and obviously if a hat stays on their site long enough then it will go to the to the uh to the to the um you know they'll, they'll they'll put in clearance sections and you can find some deals there you just sometimes you have to look uh, of course the only thing about hat club is because they're such a popular site sometimes they'll get hats in and the, and the sizes will go like that you know so sometimes you have to be quick on the trigger which I'm not always. <laughs> so I have missed out on my share of hats on there because I just, you know, I don't jump on them right away. And, you know, the Hat Club, if you ever watch this vid, I'm a fan. Keep doing your thing. And, um, yeah, so thank you. Thank you for recreating some hats, you know, from my youth and also some hats that go perfectly with, with jerseys. And that's something that I'm always on the lookout for. So I blabbed on for almost 15 minutes. But, yeah. Anyhow, let's get to the pickups. This is what the main thing of the video, and I'll start with this one. This is a, uh, this is um, the new for the, for this year. Of course, uh, since Nike's taken over with the NBA, the jersey, and I'm I'm a fan because I'm a collector. Different team, all the teams wear different sets of jerseys. 
There's obviously the, the normal uh, association and icon jerseys, but then they come out with all sort of the city edition, the statement edition, and the classic edition for teams that had throwback jerseys from back in the day, the ones that want to participate in this. And for the first time this season, the Sixers are doing it, my hometown 76ers, and they're doing it, and I got the jersey. I had to get it. It's the 70-71 uh, jersey with the scripted 76ers on the front. It was a one-year jersey that they wore, and they're, they're wearing it now as their throwback. They're wearing it tonight, actually, against New Orleans. And they, of course, New Era – Comes out with all the different hats for, you know, to go with the jerseys. <laughs> for all the different ones that they have. And they put out this one. Sorry to um, sorry to Major League Hats. I know you're not a fan of the snapbacks. Myself, I am because it's what I wore back in the day. And I always will have love for the fitteds. I have plenty of fitteds. But I do have snapbacks in my collection. Again, if I find a hat that goes with jerseys, it doesn't matter to me if it's fitted, if it's a snapback. The only ones I'm not a big fan of are the strap, the the the, uh, the the strap back with like the belt buckle, you know, on the back. I'm not a big fan of those, but I love the flex fits, the fitteds, of course, and yeah, the the snapbacks. I can wear the snapbacks. It doesn't matter to me if they go with jerseys or I just love the look of it. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm sorry to those who are just fitteds is 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 all they do, but for me. I, I I can I, I can get the snapback and it doesn't doesn't matter to me particularly if it goes with jerseys and this one did go with that Joel Embiid uh, seventy seventy one Sixers jersey that I got and I love it um, not only does it go with my Embiid jersey but it goes with plenty I have a lot of different various you know Mitchell and Ness throwback Sixer jerseys in the, in, in in my collection and this goes with these amount in fact I even have the uh, the seventy seventy one Billy Cunningham that they made many years ago. I have that jersey, so obviously this hat's going to go with that too. But this goes with so many different Sixer jerseys, and of course it's got the Bell logo on the on the side. It's my favorite Sixer logo, and then of course the strap. But it's a new era. I actually got this at the store Pro Image. I mean, you can find this various. It was the first time I saw it, so I grabbed it. I even paid retail for it. Shh. But uh, <laughs> I grabbed it. And I had to have it. And, and the inside of it is basically the trim that the Sixers have on the side of the uniform. And it also has the um, little sign in there. It says 1970-71 Philadelphia 76ers home uniform, just in case you didn't know. It has the Bell logo, too. Very nice. I love this. Um, you know, and like I said, it just goes with a lot of my Sixers gear. So uh, speaking of the Sixers, this here was a pickup from the uh, – Black Friday, this year's Black Friday. I got this at Dick's Sporting Goods. Sixers, of course. I have a hat like this from some years ago with the with the uh, the ball logo on the front, and I saw this one. I had to have it, you know. So I think it was like twenty five percent off. So basically, that logo is on the front of the other one I got, and it's like metallic, so it's got like shine to it. <laughs> it's like a reflective, even in a way. But there it is on the back. I love flex fit hats. They're comfortable, and particularly in the summertime, yeah, you know, I'm a partial season ticket holder to the Phillies, so I go to games, a lot of times I wear a flex fit because it's just the most, one of the most comfortable hats on my head, and it's lightweight, so, you know, these are the type of hats, you know, believe me, you live in the Northeast, you're going to have some hot summers, maybe not as hot as some other places, but we do get some heat waves, these are the type of hats you want to wear, <laughs> so... There's that one. And I got another one. This one actually, uh, Phillies Red Friday for their Black Friday. They did 50% off. They do it every year. It's the first year I went to it uh, at the ballpark there in the uh, in the uh, the clubhouse store. And there is the Phillies with the world-famous mascot right there, the Fanatic. Love that logo on the side of it. Um, Phillies on the back. Another one of my many Phillies hats to wear. Even when I go to games, you know, I will definitely wear this to to some games this this coming season. So, and oop, <laughs> move the camera. Um, this one was also from the same sale, and I do have the fitted version that they wore uh, some years ago when they wore these with their 1976 uniforms. It was a one-time wear, um, but this does go back to the 1976 season to those uniforms. And uh, like I said, I have the, the the fitted majestic authentic for this, um, but this one I thought was cool because it, it is the, the it's the pillbox it's the pillbox Phillies have from 1976, 
But if you didn't know that, it's it's a strap back, and it does say 1976 on the back. It's written with the Phillies logo. So this is a little lighter than the uh, the fitted that I have. So this one I can do a little more during games and whatnot and just wearing around. Because the other one, like I said, it's it's – Okay, it's not the original from 1976, but it's the one they wore when they wore the 19 the, the uniforms from 19 when they had their 70s night years ago. I think it was like four or five years ago, whenever it was. But they wore the pillbox, and they of course made it for sale. And I grabbed it. You know, it's one. Of, I, I grabbed that thing quick because it was the first time I ever had a Phillies pill pillbox hat in my collection. And but the one I have that I got from there is the on field fitted. But this one obviously is just more of a fan. You know, hat. And they had a series of these hats. They had a series of these hats representing different eras. And this one, of course, 1976. So I told you about Nike doing all the different various themed jerseys. So one of the themes they have is the city edition. Um, each year, the teams will wear a different jersey representing the history of their city or something dealing with their city. And, of course, they make the jerseys, and, of course, they make the hats. And if you have the jersey for me, i got to have the hat. So, like it was for the, uh, the the throwback, I went ahead and I picked up the um, the City Edition hat. Because I've gotten a City Edition hat the last few years that the Sixers obviously have done it. Um, so, here's this year's, uh, the Phillies, I mean the Phillies, the Sixers went to the cream jerseys with the script, scripted filler on the front of it. And uh, it does represent the... Um, uh, Declaration of Independence with that script. It's a declaration script. And they have the, the little crack on the going down the side of the jersey, down the side of the shorts that represent the Liberty Bell. That's why Liberty Bell's on the side in gold. And this is, again, this is another, I know, it's another snapback. They did these in fitteds too. But uh, I just like this one. So I picked this up. This was a, this was a Black Friday deal pickup for me too at uh, Dick's. And there it is, NBA logo on the back, strap. It's a new era. It's got the flag, blue button, you know, pretty, uh, you know, um, you know, not a whole lot of bells and whistles. It, it, it's pretty basic, but I, it, it gets the job done. And I got the, uh, I got the NB Jersey that night. So it goes with that. And before I found this hat, I got this one for the 1970, 71, uh, you know, Jersey. Uh, this was a lids pickup months ago and, because I got that jersey, and then I, I got this from a local Lids before I saw this one. So, But either way, it will go with it, because it's a white jersey. It's got the blue bell there, logo on the front, Mitchell Ness. It's a snap. Like I said, snaps don't bother me as much. If it goes with jerseys, I'm happy. I do understand why, you know, the hardcore collectors do not go after snapbacks for the most part. But for me, like I said, I, I get them mainly to go with jerseys, so... Oh yeah, yeah. Now, now I will say this: I do get uh, hats to go with a jersey, even if I don't have the jersey, just because sometimes the hat is harder to get than the jersey. And I have in my collection the full line of the Vice Knight Heat jerseys that they've done. Besides this one, it's it's the city, it's their city edition, and their city edition every year since the inception of the city edition uniforms was Vice Knight. So they did the they did the um, the white jersey they did the black jersey last year they did the pink jersey this year they're doing the turquoise jersey and i got hats to go because i got the d wade i got the d wade vice knight jerseys for every year they've done him and i got them all from the miami heat shop so it's got the ad sponsor I, i'm the sucker for extras on stuff i you know so i want to get this year's one in d wade i know he's not playing but they made it for him anyhow and just to keep it uniform i'm getting d wade again and um so i had to get this this was a lids pickup and there it is that's going to go with Mr. Wade, Wade County right there, Miami Heat, and the turquoise and pink. That's why it's called the Vice, because Miami Vice, yeah, my Vice Knight jer uh, jersey uniforms that they wear for their city edition. Love them. I I I'm a fan. I, I love these colors. You know, I remember Miami Vice growing up, so I, I love these colors. I love the fact that they're honoring that, that they kind of, you know, they're, they're yeah, I mean, you, you see this, you definitely think Miami. So, like I said, I'm going to get that jersey from their uh, site, hopefully in a few weeks, um, with the ad sponsor. Yeah, I know. And you will see those D-Way jerseys when I show my collection. Um, so, anyhow, going, going on, this one here was a Poshmark pickup. And 
It's a it's it's a hat that that that's harder to find. It's a slightly older run Mitchell and Ness hat. It is used, but like I said, it's hard to find. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. Got a good deal on it. New Orleans Saints scripted hat. I'm a fan of these scripted hats. Like I said, hat uh yeah hat club started doing their own fitteds for these. Now Mitchell and Ness recreated these some years ago, and I really like these. I have a few of these in the collection. Because they, obviously, they go with jerseys. So, got the Saints. I have some white Saints jerseys in the collection. So, that hat will definitely go with them. Um, moving on. This was an eBay pickup some time ago. Um, I have some more recent Astros jerseys with this logo on the side. So, I got the hat to go with them. It's not the fit. It's not the on-field fit from back in the day. Those hats are getting harder to get. So, I found this one. It was a snapback on eBay. It does have the 50th anniversary logo on the side and I got that patch on the side of the jerseys. I got an Altuve and I want to say the other player I have with it is uh, I want to say it's Correa. I have a gray Correa with that logo. I got an orange Springer but I don't remember if that one has the patch on it. I think it's the Correa. I have a gray Carlos Correa and I believe that's the other one I have that has that logo. I got one of each of those Astros jerseys. I got the, the white and an Altuve. And I got the gray in, in Correa, and I got an orange in Springer just because I love those jerseys. Um, and the players aren't bad either. So, uh, speaking of those Astros, this was a Hat Club exclusive. And I was so happy they made this because I have the Nolan Ryan Mitchell Ness jersey from this year with that logo on the side, the 1986 All-Star. It's got that logo on the side of it. And you'll see that when I show my collection. But here's the hat to go with it. 1986 All-Star Game. That hat will go with Mr. Ryan. No Batterman logo on the back. Like I said, it's a hat land. It's got the New Era logo kind of blended into the material. So you don't see it as much as you would if it was white or orange or whatever. And I like that, that they did that. Because it does kind of hide it a little bit. Like I said, no Batterman logo. And that's one of the things that Hat Club will do. When they do their exclusive stuff, and if it's like an older hat, they won't put the Batterman logo in the back. Because obviously the teams didn't wear it back then. So... That's pretty cool. And it has a gray underbrim as well. Yes, hat collectors, it's a fitted. <laughs> I know, people are like cheering, yay! Yeah, I, I, I do have quite a few fitteds in the collection. They're not all fitteds, as you see, but I do have them. Like I said, if it goes with a jersey, I'm going to find a way to get it. Um, you can never go wrong with the classic Miami Dolphins hats, the colorway. Their turquoise and orange and white. You just you can't go wrong with these. And this was another Posh, Poshmark pickup. Mitchell and Ness scripted Dolphins. As you will see, I have a lot of Dolphins jerseys. A lot of them. So this hat will go with plenty of them. I have various Dolphins hats too because I just love the colors. And yeah. Uh, next off, this I believe this is another Hat Club exclusive. And I picked this up, and I was so happy to see this one because I have a – it was custom done. I got it blank off uh, Fanatics, and um, I had it sent off uh, to have – this was a few years ago uh, – have this custom done into a Paul Goldschmidt. And I have a purple Diamondbacks jersey that they wore a few years ago, throwback jersey representing the 90s, that they wore some years ago. And, of course, Goldschmidt was there, so I had it turned into Goldschmidt. I know he's on the Cardinals now, but um, Hatland did it. Um, they had this hat, but it was hard. I mean, it, it, these did not last very long. Obviously, it's just the colors. It's iconic. I didn't get it right away. I snoozed on it, and it was gone. So when Hatland got it, or Hatland, Hat Club got it. I know I'm going to mess that up a few times. I'm sorry, but Hat Club got it. I, I didn't miss on it that time. It's got the logo on the side, the 20th anniversary. The, the jersey I have has the logo on the side, and it's a purple jersey, so this one will absolutely go with it. It does have the Batman logo, which is cool, and, of course, the gray underbrim. So it's a throwback-looking hat with, that, with, the, uh, with the logo, and they did wear this hat with that jersey when they wore it. So, like I said, I missed out on the original run of these, but Hat Club had it, so and it is a new era. But again, it's blended right in there. So, and I know, um, I know Major League Hats once at, once uh, wrote me in a, a comment and asked me if I can show some of the jerseys and hats together, and I will do that. 
I just, I want to get everything set up upstairs first. I want to show the collection. Once I get through that, <laughs> I will show some of my best of. So I will show you the jerseys and hats together. Um, because like I said, it's an art form and it's something that I'm passionate about doing. So I definitely will show some of those, you know, combos. I call them combo wombos together, the jersey and the hat together. You will see those eventually. Don't know exactly when, but it will, it will happen. This was another, uh, Poshmark pickup. This, um, again, is a setup hat. I call these setup hats when I have the hat before the jersey. I want to get one of those orange Dolphins jerseys. I want an authentic one. Reebok from back in the day. And when I do get it, there's the hat for it right there. The orange with, of course, the turquoise Dolphins fitted. Yeah, I love this thing. When I saw it, New Era, when I saw this, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I, I visioned, I had, you know, visions of that jersey dancing in my head. So whether it's Ricky Williams, whether it's uh, Zach Thomas, whoever I get, Jason Taylor, in the orange jersey, that's the hat that's going to go with it. Oh, yeah. And there's a few more I have in my watch list, too, because uh, why have why have one when you can have more <laughs> variety? Um, so next up, this was another Poshmark pickup. This is a fitted Cooperstown collection, Arizona Diamondbacks. I just love the colorway, and I have some older Diamondbacks jerseys in the collection that this will go with. Love that, though. Really cool. It's new era. So you can tell it's not like the vintage that they were back in the day. It's like a repro. It's uh, the um, Cooperstown Collection new era from their line. And it's got that colorway on the back. Very nice. This is a vintage hat. And I do have um, some Indians jerseys in the collection that I got from a fellow collector. And he had them custom done. And the various players... This hat, though, is a vintage on-field fitted uh, new era hat, and you can tell it's just it's got some wear to it, but this was a Poshmark pickup. Chief Wahoo on the front, of course, they don't have that anymore. They just have the Cleveland C, um, but this, I mean, it's vintage, so it's almost like Major League <laughs> vintage. A little older even, maybe, but um, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I would say, yeah, I would say Major League. It's probably from, you know, the Major League era for the Cleveland Indians. And there's the inside. You can see that old tagging right there. Yep. Old tagging. Uh, well, it, it was white. Of course, it's faded over the years, but it's got that under brim. Cool. And it's just little things like this. You know, you find something like this, you know, it just, it, it, it's, it's a cool thing. It's going to be nice to wear these with those jerseys. Because they're older Indians jerseys, you know, custom into different players. You'll see them. Don't worry, you'll see them. <laughs> um, next up. I'll move these over. I know I have a lot to show. I'm sorry. But uh, this is a Mariner's hat. This is another Poshmark. The other cool thing about Poshmark is if you um, you can bundle stuff. So, like, you can have very – as long as it's from the same seller. So you can, like, pick a few items and you can offer a set price for those items. And the seller will either accept it, decline it, or counter – and sometimes a seller will bundle it for you. Like if you if if you have some you know various things on your watch list from them, they'll try to they'll they'll try to outfit you as it were, put <laughs> different stuff and make an offer to you, and you can either accept it or not. So some of these hats I got from one seller, and I basically put them together in a bundle and made an offer, and they accepted it. So Seattle Mariners, uh, this is the uh, Memorial Day. Um, Appreciation, of course, the hat right there, the remembrance hat, I should say, that the teams wore some years ago. This one goes back some years ago, but it does have the camo on the inside of the logo, Seattle Mariners. And I got some Griffey jerseys, you know, so, you know, can't have enough Mariner hats to go with them. So, um, and actually, I didn't realize that this that's what this was. The picture of it was a little far back. I thought it was just a regular Mariner's hat, but when I got it in the mail... I noticed it was the, you know, it was the Memorial, Memorial Day one. And, I, you know, I'm like, ooh, that's even better. You know, it was just unexpected. So there's that one. And this one is a original, the Black A's hat. And for a time, they had a black jersey. And this is the hat that went with it. And like I said, this one is the, the original one from back in those, back in that time. Because it does not have the new era flag on the side. So if it does not have the new era Flag on the side, you know, it's a little older. <laughs> Although the New Era logo just went on the hat with like some years ago. But yeah, this is the, the hat the A's wore. 
with that jersey. And I do want to get that jersey someday. So, again, this is a setup hat for it. Running out of places to find out where to put these hats after I show them. Um, next off here, yep, another Posh Park. This is a on-field fit for the Baltimore Orioles, the Standing Bird logo. I got some jerseys with that from that era, so went ahead and got the hat to go with it, the on-field fitted. Not that, you know, this one is more of one of the more recent, I guess, on-field fit, so it doesn't have the gray under broom or anything, but it does not have the new era flag, so it is a little older. But there it is. I know, now I'm showing all these fitteds. See? <laughs> Mighty fans got fitteds, too. Don't worry. <laughs> I show love to the fitteds, too. Um, and, of course, yet again, all, all the rest here were Poshmark pickups. Regular Orioles. And the deals that you can get in some of these hats. And I know the Orioles aren't very good. But, <laughs> regardless if it's a good team or not, you can find some real steals on there. And these are, you know... But I do have um, I do have a couple Ori Orioles jerseys uh, that this would go with. I have a Manny Machado uh, uh, orange jersey. It's real nice. Uh, this definitely goes with it. So there's that. Put that over there. Yeah, I had to get this one. Tampa Bay. I have Rays Devil Rays jerseys in the in the fold. Yeah, they never wore this one. This is more of a fan style hat, but it still goes with them. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I like to be a little creative sometimes. I won't always wear the exact hat for baseball like the team wore. But if the colors go with it, it works. So, and this one actually goes more with the road jersey than it does with the home. You can wear it with the home, but just the color, it, it pops with the road one too with that gray and you get this stuff going on. The home one, too, though, obviously. But, yeah. All right. I'm going to stick that one over here. Next off, Toronto Blue Jays. Again, this is a hat they never wore. But it goes with some of the white Blue Jay jerseys I have in the arsenal. So, there it is. That 90s logo. Batman logo. It's a new era. More of a style hat, but yeah. And last but not least, Kansas City Royals. Gray fitted, and to date, I um, I do not have a road gray Royals jersey in the collection, but I do want to get one. You know, at some point. So when I do, again, they didn't wear this with them, but it goes with them. So whenever I do get a road gray Royals jersey, that's going to be the hat that goes with it. And I love road gray for baseball. Uh, road gray baseball uniforms, and you will notice when you see my collection, I have quite a few of them in the collection. And road gray baseball jer jerseys, uh, I, I love them. Uh, they, you know, so just about every team. I'm trying to get a road gray uniform for, and the Royals is one of the ones on the list still to get. So once I do get it, I will have that hat to go with it. Like I said, it's a setup hat, you know. Um, like I said, even if I don't have the jersey on hand to get the hat to go with the jersey for a future purchase, it's important to me because, like I said, at times it's harder to find the, the hat to go with the jersey than the actual jersey, even if the actual jersey is a rare jersey. It sometimes if 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 it is a jersey that's on my list that I want to get and I know it's rare, sometimes I just want to get knock the hat off first. <laughs> so when I do get the jersey, um, you know I'll have the hat to go with it right waiting for it, and it's happened you know on 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 numerous occasions. So, and I was glad I did because you know some of those hats that I got beforehand, you know after I got the jersey, it's like oh man now I can't find this hat, so I'm glad I got it when I did. So, just little things you learn when you're collecting. Um, anyhow, that is it. There was a lot. I know there was a lot, but I've been, you know, uh, remiss. I haven't, you know, made a, a lid pickup vid in quite some time, and it's something I want to do more of, um, you know. And uh, also, of course, it just shares, you know, the collection. It shares, 
you know, my passion, the hobby I have for the, the Jersey game, of course, and with me as a Jersey hat game. So, um, yeah, I thought I would at least do the bat log here. <laughs> so you got to see plenty. Uh, but, yeah, it's it's a number of months' worth of pickups uh, from various locations, and um, I'm always on the lookout. So jerseys and hats, yeah, that's, that's what Mighty Fan does. And, of course, Eagle videos when I'm not working. <laughs> when I'm not doing other things, when I'm not sitting here watching stuff on TV, watching various different things, sports or Netflix or whatever, I have to get Disney+. Plus. That's that's the next venture for me. But various different things with the Roku stick. <laughs> going through stuff um but yeah watching youtube videos <laughs> making youtube videos um yeah uh and of course being out about you know with friends and or just myself wandering malls just to be there <laughs> uh, or attending phillies games but no um thank you for watching thank you for giving me 40 minutes of your time 41 minutes of your time i appreciate it like I said, I had a lot to show, and I did have a channel update I wanted to to, to, to bring up, so um, there it is. There is no more. I am finally done, and I'm finally done yakking away, too. So, But all the best to all of you out there, all my all, all the fellow hat heads out there, all my fellow jersey heads, of course. Um, like I said, mighty fan, definitely going to be getting back to some roots in 2020. I am still going to do my season of the fan series because I'm still passionate about that. But outside of that, I want to add more to the channel and a um, little more variety to the channel. So I'm going to be doing more with, like I said, with the, my roots on YouTube was, was being a Jersey head and, 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 you know, showing the passion that came with that. And I know a lot of my fellow Jersey heads have kind of moved on from YouTube. There are still some that are on there. You all know who you are and shout out to all of you. Uh, but I know with the groups on Facebook and everything, it's just, it's, it's kind of where the herd kind of shuffled to. <laughs> But there are still enough here on YouTube. And like I said, YouTube, it, 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 it's always going to be part of my life. I'm always going to bring content. And um, when I first started back in 2009, it was jerseys. And, um, you know, it's still something that's a big part of my life. Um, probably why I'm still a single man. But no, it's still a big part of my life. And I want to bring that to all of you. And I want to, you know, document the collection, not just with, with uh, Instagram, although it's still not great, it's a great outlet, but also with, um, you know, here on YouTube too. And, you know, I'm a fan of video, you know, so why not, you know, bring as much of that to you as I can and video document the collection once I get it a little better uh, housed, let's say, in, in, on better racks. Um, so once that happens, I'm going to do it sport by sport. So I, like I said, I'm going to start with baseball. And once I get through the baseball, I will do the, uh, I'll show you the football collection, the basketball, the basketball collection, the, uh, the, the hockey collection. There's a lot. There's a lot. So just be warned. <laughs> but it's a big part of my life. So as you can tell from all these hats, it's, um, it's something that I that that I have great passion for, and putting the hats together with the jerseys—that's that's that's how Mighty Fan rolls. That's this is how it is. So, anyhow, thanks again for watching. Hope everyone's doing well. Happy holidays to all of you. And when I get, I, I think I'm gonna try to once I get you know li, uh, lids in, I'll do some pickup vids for them. Maybe I'll do some unboxing. I know that's real popular for people with the unboxing, so I'll probably do some of that too. Um, and um, so yeah. That's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you around the channel. Like I said, got another season of fan vid to come up on probably Saturday. So, you know, for that series. So, for those of you interested, I'm still in the playoff hunt. So, <laughs> let's go, Eagles. Let's go, Birds. Let's go, Sixers tonight against the Pelicans. And, um, yeah, let's go, Flyers, too, of course. All right, everyone. I'll see you around. Take care. Bye. <laughs>